Hello, this is Andrew Woods, and this is the next installment in the Fedora 4 video tutorials. So it would not be surprising if I heard that you had uh, caught wind of the uh, recent beta release of Fedora 4 and you're excited about the features and uh, wanting to jump right in and start testing things out, uh, working with the REST API, or uh, maybe even doing some acceptance testing which would be great. Um, but the first question that you're asking yourself is, well, how do I get Fedora up and running? Well, towards those ends, we have created a small utility called the One Click Run, which uh, does exactly that. It's, it's really the fastest and easiest way for you to get Fedora running. And I will talk about that now. So the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and go to the DuraSpace Wiki. Uh, you're probably quite familiar with this, but it's wiki.durspace.org. And once you get there, uh, go to the Fedora repository space, which I am doing now. Uh, and, and on the left hand side, you will see um, a downloads section. <clears throat> so once you get to the downloads section, there we have uh, the artifacts from all of the releases that we've put out. We have uh, the, the various alpha releases and uh, the hot off the presses beta release. Um, there's a link to the documentation here for the release and uh, a number of different artifacts. The one that we are interested in today is the one click war. So I'll, I'll go ahead and download that, um, which is happening now, uh, about 20 seconds or more um, before that completes. Um, while that is happening, I will also just sort of plant the seed for a subsequent tutorial here related to the Quick Start Guide. Um, here on the Quick Start Guide, uh, you'll find uh, some directions for how to get the, um, the one-click run going, and at the bottom here, you will see that um, there are links to further uh, further documentation. Whoops, further documentation, as well as um, some next steps that you might like to take in, in terms of uh, exploring in more depth uh, the the features that you'll find in Fedora. So, looks like the download is complete. Um, let's go ahead and open that up in the file browser. I will note that I am running on uh, Linux uh, Ubuntu and and for me when I, so here's the download uh, FC repo, web app, beta 1, Jetty console when I click on the download it, it doesn't know exactly what to do with it uh, and what I'll do is I'll show you two different ways to get this going. Um, for me, I need to uh, change the permissions to be executable, which I can do right here. And now when I click on it, <clears throat> it should just run. I believe on both Windows and Mac, uh, there's no additional step that needs to be taken, but uh, instead it just starts up. So here you see the Fedora 4 splash screen. Uh, for the one-click run utility. Uh, there's a port of 8080 that uh, is uh, used. You can change that to another port if you want to, but um, that's the default and that should work just fine. So I'll click on start um, and that is working away. Um, should just take a moment and Hopefully it will come right up. Uh, you may notice that uh, there was an FC repo 4 dash data directory that was created in the same directory uh, where the uh, the one click run utility was, and and that that uh, directory is created to hold um, both the the objects and the data streams for your Fedora repository. You can you can specify that, that directory be somewhere else if you like, but um, as it stands right now, uh, it will just be created in the current working directory. 
and seems like it's still settling. Uh, all right, so uh, and that, that automatically launches your default browser with uh, the home page of your Fedora repository. You will see here at the bottom um, it notes the release and build number um, and date that uh, the build was created. If you click here on the REST API endpoint, it will bring you to the the uh, front page of your repository. And from here, you can begin uh, creating objects and uh, browsing through your your objects. And if you create content, uh, browsing through that, as well as uh, a number of other features and capabilities. Uh, I won't go into that now, but um, suffice it to say that um, your Fedora repository is running. Um, before I close, I will also just mention that, um, let me go ahead and stop this. I will mention that um, an alternative way to getting this running, um, if uh, for whatever reason the actual one click doesn't work for you, what you can do is uh, just launch it with the Java command. So uh, in the directory where the download is, so you see uh, the, the download here, um, in that directory if you just run the Java command java dash dot jar um, pointing to that file, uh, that should do the same thing that the one click does. And um, we'll see the splash screen, and well, I won't wait for it to come back up again. But um, that's uh, that's really the gist of the one click. You can either click on the uh, download or run Java dash jar, and you should be up and running. All right. Talk to you next time.